Welcome to, This Bitch, with Sarah Weinshank and Kim Congdon. What's up, everybody? We're live from the Hive at Mastermind Media with another episode of This Bitch Podcast. I'm Kim Congdon. And I'm Sarah Weinchank. Wow. We're here. We're back. And we're queer. <laughs> we're here. We're queer. Get used to it. Isn't that the slogan? <laughs> <laughs> we're here. We're queer. Get used to it. Um, this is my pride bandana suddenly. We Wow. We just got back from Texas. And boy, did we have a time. Are we talking about it? We're going to talk about some of it. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to talk about all of it. I might, I might let, set a boundary no, over no, some parts I of think, it. Okay, we'll first, see. We'll see. <clears throat> first, we have to say we love Austin. Y'all don't even know how much we love Austin. One thing about mom and mama, they love to get down and howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> um, we love Austin. Mm -hmm. I, I got to Austin and I said, "Am I living my life wrong?" I know. I said, maybe it's just about having a beer and a wing with your friends. Sometimes you just want a <laughs> beer and a wing with your friends. We were out. We were two-stepping. We were at the country clubs. We were watching live music. We were living. I was ordering donuts at 2.30 in the morning. At one point, Sarah ordered $40, $50? dollars $50, $50 worth of voodoo donuts at 4 a.m. Didn't it? And then... Didn't eat them. Didn't eat them. Woke up the next morning to a box. Woke up the next morning at 2 p.m. and found a box of voodoo donuts at the steps of the Airbnb. Mm -hmm. And then I said, oh, oops, I forgot about this. Yeah. And none of them were good. No. It was like the most haphazard collection of donuts the, I've truly ever seen. The people at Voodoo Donuts are not nice because the way that they sent us these donuts, it looked like. If a kid found a bunch of dessert <laughs> ingredients and made donuts, it was like Oreo with a Skittle on top and a pretzel through the Skittle. It was like, <laughs> what is this? You're like, who wants this? Yeah. It's like, I don't want bacon yeah. on my donut. Okay, exactly. Texas. Exactly. Yeah, no, they got a little too creative. Give me a crumb. Give me a glaze. Hit me with the classics, bitch. A, gl a glaze would have been nice. A sprinkle. I was knuckle deep in fudge every time I took a <laughs> bite. Um, but the food... The food? The food. Okay, I gained the freshman 15 from a week in Austin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I come back, I go, uh, I don't think my pants are fitting right. I don't think I'm the same <laughs> person I was before I left to Austin. No, I know. I was a different person. We were living. Well, I, I don't out. even remember, like, it's such a blur. I don't even remember, like, the flight there. Was the flight there fine? Was everything normal? You talk oh. shit about the way that I slept. Oh, this bitch. <laughs> Xavier, <laughs> this fucking bitch. She gets on the flight we're in the emergency row so i even understand falling asleep like on the tray she literally gets on the flight the plane like starts and she goes i'm tired and then i look <laughs> over and she's out for the full three hours straight up not even leaning on either side of this lease just rem it was pissing me <laughs> off it the way it pissed me off I know, watching I'm, you sleep i looked over at you and you go ew why are you sleeping like that i'm like who gets mad at someone for like fucking that. sleeping she was like <laughs> I was out. I was fucking Dad out. Dad asleep holding herself up. Yeah, I like to sleep at a 90 degree angle. <laughs> You're a in freak a of nature. Chair. You're a freak of nature. That's not normal. <sighs> That's not normal. Let me tell you, I found my favorite airline. Delta. I'm not afraid to say it. Um, yeah, Delta's my favorite. Well, Delta, after JetBlue. Delta or J Delta. Jet, JetBlue doesn't go enough places, but Delta is my number one baby. What do you guys go for? I, I try to stay Delta. Delta, but I was part of the whole Southwest debacle. Oh. I actually got stuck in Texas because the first Southwest one. Oh, shit. Okay, Mark Delta's got stuck. Go. They can't really hear you, but <laughs> Mark got stuck with the Southwest. He's got a thing with Southwest because he got stuck in the, tra in the trauma that happened during Christmas. And that was a nightmare. But Delta? Biscoff cookies? Biscoff cookies and sun chips come through. And headphones for free. Headphones for free. $5 Wi-Fi. Versus Jet Blues. I'm like, I'm sorry, putting a down payment on a house <laughs> just to send an email? <laughs> the fuck is going on? 
It's so true. And it doesn't even work. No, I'm like, this just was a fourth of the flight. How is the Wi-Fi a fourth of the flight? No, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Yeah, It no. makes no sense. They make all their money in the Wi-Fi, I swear. But the way that a flight, a four-hour flight goes like this on TikTok. Did you see me? Whole flight? I was like, oh, she's losing brain cells again. <laughs> We're going to land and she's going to come with another half-baked conspiracy. The pilot wanted to fuck you. Yeah. The pilot wanted to I fuck had you. On my- she got us upgraded. She got us the nice emergency extra seats for free. And the pilot was like, I like your glasses. I said, tell him to show us the cockpit. She was like, no. I was like, tell him to show us the cockpit for content. She's like, no, I couldn't. I don't want to take it there. I was like, <laughs> you fucking boring bitch. I would have been like, show us the cockpit. This bitch wants to see the bzz, bzz, cockpit. <laughs> Stop trying to make me fuck our pilot. <laughs> I was like, no, but now I'll you tell horning you. up our pilot before a flight. I said, listen, honey, I, enough. I need you to focus on the road. <laughs> the road uh, ahead. On the clouds. You know what? I don't like the whole. I don't like that. You're, we're thousand. We're thirty thousand feet above the earth, and it's just some guy named Rick flying it. It's like no, I can't. This is just a. When I see them, and it's just a man, I go, I don't know. Can I be honest? And this is going to sound sexist. I prefer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Agreed. Don't even say it. Yeah. Like if you saw one, I'm going to trust Charlene over Rick. I'd say Charlene, put an apron on and get me a Biscoff. (laughs) (laughs) Rick is taking over. Rick, get up there. Here I get out there. I love my sister. Why is that is so sexist? I don't know, but every Lyft driver that I've had recently has been a woman, and I've been disappointed left and right. <laughs> Especially because I have my luggage. I'm like, We're bitch, you so- can't, you can't pick up my luggage. I, I can't pick I up my luggage. I don't think it's, it's, I think it's less sexist and more like, we're not supposed to drive. We're supposed to be blind, deaf, and dumb when we're around a man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like these women, they're driving, they need the cash, but biologically we just want to relax we just want to be on a pillow we want to hold a little baby and just fucking lay in the river bathe in a river i want to be by the river like a fairy yeah like with my hair sp- down breastfeeding like a spray catch, like- catch me breastfeeding by the river barefoot <laughs> barefoot and breastfeeding by a river that's what i want to be it's funny because that's like that sounds nice because our lives are so opposite of that yeah it's like yeah we're getting on stage we're like how are you doing tonight <laughs> how are you two doing did you two fuck yeah you two <laughs> friends or what it's yeah like, like so that gross. it's so gross it's, it's gross. like gross. let's just be like feminine naked by a river with our hair covering our breasts like fairies yeah that's that's a lifestyle we deserve yeah i'd like to i'd like to sell out a sell out a, a club on the weekends Breastfeeding fairy on the weekdays. Catch me Monday through Thursday breastfeeding by a river. Friday breastfeeding. killing zanies, Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> breastfeeding other people's children during the week. Isn't that called a wet nurse? <laughs> yeah, being a wet nurse for yeah. the community. A vocal wet nurse. One time someone brought me on stage and called me a wet nurse. And I was like, never say that again. They made a Wait. really bad joke about how I was like a wet nurse. And I was like, that didn't even make sense. One. And two, what the fuck? Just bring me up to tell jokes. Because I remember being so- I'm sorry. Whoever did that is a comedic genius. <laughs> <laughs> they called you a, a what? wet nurse. And it was like, threw me off completely. Shanky the wet nurse. I was, threw me off completely because I was like, what is a wet nurse? And then I looked it up and it's someone who, I'm pretty sure, isn't that the definition? Who breastfeeds of, other people's babies. That's us. During the week, by the river. No, we can breastfeed our own babies in mind. We don't have babies- Remember? In my fantasy, I have one during the week. We also don't have the river. We also we don't, don't have husbands. Have, we don't sell out weekends. <laughs> <laughs> None of this we're is true. We're about to. Actually, we're mama and close. mommy. One thing about mama and mommy, y'all are showing up for shows. Mama and mommy about to sell. We got so close. We are about four honeys away, sweetie, from our first big sellout. It was crazy. Yeah. In Texas. Ye- yeah. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. The honeys came out with the... With their lassos. And if you're that dad and son combo, we're still stop, thinking about you. Stop. Call us. <laughs> fuck us. <laughs> fuck us. Okay, listen. Xavier. Yeah, do, do the thing. Do the thing. And we uh, subscribe to their Patreons. 
Oh yeah, subscribe to our Patreon because you can see the father and son combo that we both want to fuck. We want to fuck this father son so bad. They came. They're honeys. They're honeys. They're probably listening right now. If you're listening, hi, hi, <laughs> hi, daddy, hi, baby, hi. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can't. Like, I am nervous. I am imagining because, their cute little smiles because they were the their hot smiles. They were had. They live they were, in the same state as us. I know. Okay. They were the hottest father son duo we've ever seen. We did this bitch. Not live. even on like they were the hottest father son duo we've ever seen. Not like even not on TV. Like they look better than most celebrities I've ever seen. No, they look they like were an perfect ad. tens. They were perfect tens. They were they were perfect tens. <laughs> and like they sat in the front and we <laughs> you're, you're weeping. <laughs> you're weeping. I've right been now. thinking personally for me it's the father. For me, it's 48 year old come through. If the wife and you don't work out, I'll take whatever. I don't want to turn away a fan because I'm trying to fuck his Sweet. dad. Catch me, catch me not caring which one comes through. Okay. You, you, now you, you want me to take the sign? I want you to take the sign. I don't care. Everyone wins. Everyone wins. Except in this the situation. wife. Except the, <laughs> except the wife and mother <laughs> and the entire family dynamic over there. Um, no, okay, okay, we're kidding. We're his kidding. wife probably listens. We, I doubt it. What if she's our biggest honey? If she's our biggest honey, then she's buzz, doing buzz. good. Buzz, 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 sweetie. <laughs> you're doing good. You're, you're doing beautiful things over there, <laughs> sweetie. Sweetie, what you've created, the family you've made, honey, you have it all. You are barefoot by a river. Yeah, <laughs> Breastfeeding. Yeah. I wonder if there's more. Imagine that man fucking you. I can't. We can't <laughs> talk about a man who's not here and no one knows what they look like fucking us. But so what we can Patreon, do. Patreon.com slash Kim Congdon. Or Patreon.com slash Sarah Weinchink. And you can see uh, Vulcan. This bitch live at Vulcan with special guest Tony Hinchcliffe. It's a super fun episode. It's not going to go up on the regular YouTube. So subscribe to the Patreon. Hell yeah. Um. All right. Enough about the father and son. We gotta let him go. <laughs> we can't. We almost did our whole. How, do you see? We almost did our live podcast about them, and now and we're doing another two, podcast about them. Those two fuckers will pull you in. <laughs> yeah, it felt like it was. Goth. They were like, they were temptresses. <laughs> Temptors. Oh, what sorry. is it? What's is this the, Aphrodite in male <laughs> form? What's going on? What's this? Zeus? And they were also had sexual energy okay enough <laughs> you, took it, you took it too far oh, daddy baby oh, stop, baby stop, daddy stop, come, stop, through. Stop. come through baby daddy daddy baby please stop <laughs> listen what i didn't realize i was such a barbecue ho what do you mean honey since i've been back in la i'm like i look at the meats i go where's the brisket um, I, snob for, I was I was non on the brisk all the way up until the airport on the way I'm home. I'm on the <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, she was. She's like, well, our flight's about to board. And she goes, hold on. I got to run back and get a brisket. I'm like, are you going to make First it in of time? All, Sarah flies like she's a regular person who doesn't travel. I'll tell you that. I'm an anxious she's bitch. Like, it's, she's like, it's boarding. We have to get there. I'm like, when it, from the time it starts boarding till the end of boarding, it's another 30 minutes. The people take fucking forever. And she's like, yeah, but we're in we're in the first boarding thing. And I'm like, you don't have to do any of this. Just get on at the end. You're she's at the front, all of her shit, backpack, one strap, two coffees, one snack, everything hanging, just in a line that's not even boarding of other idiots. Yeah. I want to make sure I'm settled. It takes me a minute to get settled. There's nothing more unsettling than the visual of you with a bunch of stuff standing with your neck all Like tense. a single mom. Truly nothing looks less settled. You look like you have triplets every time you like go I'm out. I like I'm an intern. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm sorry, is this PA. my assistant? Why do you have, you have like mics and speakers and tripods and like you're- you have Dude, a, it's hard. People don't tell you. It's hard traveling on the road and then I'm doing, an, I'm doing a podcast in my Airbnb. Everyone's like, did she shoot this from her Airbnb microwave? <laughs> That's how bad the video quality looked. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up. We're doing the best we can. One thing about mom and mommy, we're doing the best we can. We're showing up. We're I'm doing sitting. I'm not done complaining. I'm not done you. complaining about you and your behavior on the on the flight itself. <laughs> well, what was my behavior? Okay, you're. Let's you finish, and then I will interject we're, with my point. We're going to board. I'm sitting. I'm sitting, having a coffee, watching the people. She's like, we gotta go. She's like. Eating her brisket in the corner like a little hamster. 
Like, I'm eating my brisket. I'm enjoying my day. She's like, we gotta go. I'm like, I'm not going. She And then she has this moment where she's so stressed. She's like, well, I'm going to go. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, go. So I just eat my brisket and I watch her stand, <laughs> stand in line. 20 feet in front of me with all of her shit for like 30 <laughs> minutes. And she kind of just takes a step every, and she keeps looking, but looking at her phone because she doesn't want to. I don't want to try. I don't want to trigger you either. Yeah, she keeps going. And then when I finally get, I don't get in line until the very last person is doing their thing. I just What's pop in. doing their thing? They're beep. They're checking their thing. And oh, okay. the like last three or four people yeah. all get up and go. And um, the whole time I'm in the back and I still look up and you're there, four people in front of me. And my shoulder's hurting. <laughs> She's looking my back. half on. I also know you want, wish that we could be chit-chattering in the line. I do. <laughs> I'm like, That's the thing. Why even though I'm so sick of you, I still want to chat with you. But even though I'm like, at this point, I'm like, okay, I could use a few days off. I'll tell you this. We did it right this time. We had our own rooms. <laughs> Not Don't to tell brag. We didn't have our own rooms. <laughs> First of all, we have to stop. <laughs> we gotta, I'm we honest, we're transparent with the hive. Mama and mommy have leveled up, okay? We, we did we're share sitting in cottages. For, for years of our stand-up journey together, we shared hotel beds. And it's bad. It wasn't that bad. I don't like well, a, we uh, mommy bad. likes a little cuddle with mom. <laughs> It's annoying when you both have big asses and you go to turn over and there's just like two, two big asses. asses like accidentally touching each other. It's like, we don't need to be ass to ass. We're grown ups. Yeah. Well, we decided that we, this year is the year of Leveling. separate living. <laughs> when we travel. Separate living. Same house, different rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. After this trip, we were like, maybe we'll do hotels separately. Next one. Hey, the hive is always updating. Can I tell you? Upgrading. Evolving. Evolving. Elevating. Elevating. Cool. Okay, so let me tell you about something about Kimmy. Go ahead. This bitch. She acts like she's cool, like she does jujitsu. I can't even say it. <laughs> jujitsu. She's fearless. All this shit. Get this bitch on a plane. <laughs> it's a goddamn nightmare. The whole time there's a bump, she goes, <gasps> and it's like I'm normally the crazy anxious one until we get on a flight and it's like a little bit of turbulence. She's like st standing up, freaking out. Your energy on a plane. I'm like, this bitch needs to be sedated from now on. <laughs> we got to drug you oh. before the next flight. I can't deal with it. Give her a Benadryl. Give her a Xanax. <laughs> there was a point when the turbulence was so bad that I grabbed you. And I was like, okay. And I, oh, I'm sorry, I get a little scared when the plane goes bumpity bump through the night. Like I said, there's just a man in the front. It's just a dude. A dude who wants to fuck me. A dude who wants to fuck you. He's all horned up thinking about your sunglasses. He's not even paying attention now. I told you he liked my sunglasses. I mentioned to you, I, I saw the pilot. He mentioned he liked my sunglasses. And mm -hmm. then we get off the flight and he mentions it again. Yeah. He was also a small captain. Like if he was a little taller, I might have. That's what I don't need either. An angry small captain. <laughs> I need some dude that's all pent up. You know? <laughs> I don't Give me even, a happy captain. I need a happy captain on my plane. So I, need, I, need a, I need a concentrated, <laughs> focused captain. I'm, I need a man that does Sudokus. <laughs> I need a man that's really working the brain. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Well, we made it back. We made it back. Oh. What? Let me tell you. This bitch? What? On a plane? I don't know how she gets... Every time I go with Sarah, I go, how do you make it through life without me? We get on the plane. Just swimmingly. Actually, no, well, I life think, is easier I think when you're actually, not around, to be honest. <laughs> I think she actually does No one's in my head bothering me about the way I'm doing things. You no know, it's also me. not in her head. She, we get in the seats in the emergency row and she goes, oh, I guess we don't have like TVs in this one or trays. And I'm like, I have to pull it out for her and show her. I'm like, you would have just sat the whole three hour flight. I didn't even watch the TV once. I, I know. You literally went... I didn't watch the TV on the way back either. No, you I'm slept. not a tv -er. I'm not a TV. I take talk. Yeah, I'm not playing. She can't get enough. I can't get enough of the talk. I'm addicted. <laughs> no. I'm addicted. I'm a dick. I'm addicted Dicted. to talk. What is that song? I can't pretend I don't care when I just scroll all night long. Do you think okay. that I love it? Bye. Shut the fuck up. I muted her. Can't stop me, bitch.
It's crazy that you've had two coffees and a Red Bull in the last hour. Listen, I'll say that. Listen, baby. It's not well. Okay, first of all, <laughs> who are you to judge my caffeine intake? Mm. You ain't my doctor and you're not my mama. So back off. <laughs> I think you, the, both of those people need to talk to you about your caffeine intake. <laughs> You ain't my doctor and you ain't my mama, <laughs> but I am your mommy and I care in <laughs> single tears. Well, let's talk about the stairs in the second Airbnb or the piano in the first. Oh, when you got hammered. Okay, because I was drunk. A we good- were drunk every night. I, was- I started doing dry January. She shows up. And then I got the drunkest <laughs> I ever got in my entire life for six days in a row after that. No, it was bad. Like I look at photos of myself, I'm like, my face looks swollen because I'm just, <laughs> my liver is just swimming in toxins and brisket. Like what's happening? Yeah. I was like, if I go back to Austin next time, I'm going to be, I'm going to drink water. I'm going to respect the water. I'm going to be healthy about my lifestyle choices. No, we're not. We get there and we're feral. We're, we're feral. We're kicking up the dirt quite literally. <laughs> oh, should we talk about what you did at the latch key? Oh, Okay. I was like, what did I do? You crowd surfed at a local <laughs> bar <laughs> in Austin. Yeah. Yeah. After you saying Rage Against the Machine. Killing in the name of. Yeah. Everyone's going up there singing like what are the other songs? Like just very like basic Texas songs. Jesus takes the wheel. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then Kim comes up. She's like, fuck you, I want to you tell me. <laughs> Fuck you. Catch me, you fucking pussy. Yeah, she goes, I'm gonna, I need you guys to catch me. Come on. <laughs> and she's like, it's crazy. I actually have footage of you doing the crowd surf. But it, was that kind of, put in. it was kind of dead before that. It was vibing I, for the beginning of the night. Then it kind of slowed down a little. And I said, if someone's going to pick up this party, it's going to be me. It's going to be, be me. <laughs> she did. Because we went to this thing. It's called Cutthroat <clears throat> Karaoke. It's so awesome. It's where people go up and they do a karaoke song. It was so fun. And then if it's bad, people in the audience do this, like to cut them off and then they have to get off. Yeah. Listen, my fingers were exhausted. I was cut. Oh, we were, we were living for cutting people it off. Was, it became so much fun. I was like Simon from, uh, what is it? American Idol. Yes. I was like, yeah. What are you thinking? Get the fuck off the stage. Well, we were standing on the picnic tables. Get them out of here. <laughs> yeah. Get them out of here. Or just some girl living her dream. Not mama and mommy. Bringing the heat to latchkey. The heat to cutthroat karaoke. That was so fun. That was an awesome show. If you're in Austin, go check that out. It's very fun. Um, that was awesome. We did a lot. <laughs> what? We, we went did. shopping. We did? Yeah. Oh yeah, we went shopping. That's not that exciting That's to talk not about. Exciting at all. I just wanted to keep the pod alive. Um, A little snid bits. One thing about mom and mommy, they're gonna get, they're gonna stay in Austin an extra three days and have to get a new Airbnb <laughs> and and just get one randomly because they needed to move their stuff in an hour and they get one, and the second bedroom is actually a loft on these spiral staircases, <laughs> and I had to sleep in it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. For years, I've taken the lofty upstairs That's bunk. not true. <clears throat> You're painting yourself as the victim. I'm not painting myself as the victim. I'm painting victim. myself as the man. I've always been the one trudging up the stairs. Or if there's like a harder bed to get into, I've always been like, all right. And this time I stood up for myself because I have nails. <laughs> oh, you have nails so you're different now? Yeah. You couldn't walk up the stairs to the loft because you have nails? I might break one. She made me sleep upstairs in the loft. And let me tell you. The loft seems cute. It seems fun. It seems like it's going to be a good fucking time. You're like, it's a sleepover. I'm on the upper bunk. It's right. a goddamn nightmare sleeping in the loft. I know. I got to get up. I almost hit my head on the top of the fucking shit. <laughs> what about when I had my nom flash? Okay, okay. In bed. Okay. <laughs> Explain. So the, so the stairs are really small. And they're kind of hard to get up and down. They're like very you, small spiral stairs. Let me tell you. They're spiral metal stairs. And then mm-hmm. in, in the Airbnb photos, I go, well, that's fun. I don't realize that living with spiral metal stairs is going to be a goddamn nightmare. Every time I go to get go down the stairs, it's like <clears throat> like that. Mm-hmm. Just to pee. Yeah. And then I got to go back and up by to the, the way, bunk like the it's bathroom a is The bathroom is this bathroom that is, has two sliding doors on each side 
One leads to my bedroom. The other leads to the kitchen that has the spiral stairs that go up to the loft where Sarah's sleeping. Sarah's sleeping above the stove, essentially. (laughs) And... In the middle, and and the doors are so old and wooden and heavy that when they open, they squeak. They make this squeaking like sound. So So Kimmy's napping. I'm taking a nap. We're tired. We've been going hard. I'm deep into a nap. And Kimmy doesn't nap. Kimmy stays up. The money don't sleep. (laughs) That? (laughs) Not the money don't sleep, please. So, So I'm taking a nap. I'm deep in my sleep. And I hear... In my head while I'm sleeping, I hear what sounds like Sarah squealing and my brain while I'm sleeping forms this horrible dream that she fell down the spiral stairs and her neck got caught in the railing. And she's like, <laughs> and like that's what the dream, that the sound made that dream happen in my head. So I'm sleeping, titties out, no shirt on, straight just my underwear. And I... Wake up out of a dead sleep and rip the blankets off. And with my titty, start running <laughs> towards the bathroom. I go, Sarah! <laughs> and she's actually just peeing next to me. And, and she's like, what? I, know. I was like, I thought you died. <laughs> I was like, that was weird. It was like, her reaction was so strong that I was like, am I okay? Like, I had to check in with myself that I was okay. Because I was like, the the level of alarm was at fucking 10 for what was happening. Yeah. All right, Sarah, let's take a quick moment to talk about one of our sponsors that we love so very much. It's motherfucking mud water. I love mud water. What I love about it is it's an opportunity to microdose caffeine. What uh, is it exactly? It's uh, adaptogenic mushrooms and ayurvedic herbs. With a fraction of caffeine of coffee, you get the energy Mm. without the anxiety, the jitters, or the crash of coffee. Um, There's lion's made for alertness, cordyceps to help support physical performance, chaga and reishi to support your immune system, turmeric for soreness, cinnamon for antioxidants, cacao and chai for mood and microdose of caffeine. I mean, it's a great way. It's it's giving your body what it needs without the crash. That's what I love about it. I think, it. Uh, especially for us, people that are always constantly going, um, we can accidentally drink too much coffee and we go a little too hard. And I think that it's really great to have mud water because it, it it's like I'm drinking a coffee, but I don't feel the guilt of doing something bad for my body. I feel like I'm getting all the benefits of a coffee and I'm also helping myself. Yeah, because, you know, mushrooms are superfoods. <laughs> also, the taste. Mm, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. The mm-hmm. taste is amazing. What I love to do is put a little bit of oat milk with it, a little bit of honey. I mix it up. She I get puts my, honey in that shit. I'll put some honey in my mud water, baby. Um, so mud is Whole30 approved, 100% USDA organic, non-GMO, yes. gluten-free, vegan, and kosher certified. Mud water also donates monthly to the Berkeley Center for the Science of Psychedelics as mud water believes the country is in a mental health epidemic Whoa. and sees psychedelics as useful to tools for individuals with depression, PTSD, anxiety, and other mental health problems. We love them for we that. We do love that for them. So go to mudwater.com slash TB. That's mudwater.com slash TB to support the show and use code TBMUD. That's TBMUD for 15% off. Yeah, make sure you tell them that this bitch sent you. All right, guys, we got to take a break from the pod for a minute uh, to tell you what Cupid's bringing, and that's male grooming. Groomed out. Groomed out. Roses are red. Violets are blue. We love shaved balls. How about you? Hey. Valentine's Day is coming, and we know just the gift to give that special someone for any and all special occasions. I'd like to petition to make February 13th National Shave Your Balls Day, ensuring every man is well-groomed and ready for wherever their Valentine's Day takes him. This V-Day, it's time to give him the gift that 7 million men worldwide trust from Manscaped. Whoa. The leaders in below the waist grooming. Use our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use code TV20 for 20% off plus free shipping. Ooh. Um, you know what I love? What? I love a man with clean balls. Yeah. We've talked about it on this podcast specifically. We talk about how we talked about the scent of women and now we're talking about the scent of men. And more importantly, 
Just shave your balls. Support the shave your balls, clean the balls, get manscaped. What else do you need? It's a product that you need. It's a product that we love. We our customers love it. It's the gift that men really want. This product is your, your man's going to absolutely love this package. There's a lawnmower for 4.0. Okay. One thing that men's pubic hair needs is a, a full lawnmower, sweetie. Can I tell you? I have given multiple men that I've been intimate with the gift of manscape. Oh yeah, and they have come back with rave reviews. And so two different men. Speaking of rave reviews, my nose has rave reviews because the balls, when they're clean, they're clean. They're clean. They're You're speaking. in there. You know it. So again, get 20% off and free shipping with promo code TB20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use promo code TB20. Gift his Cupid an arrow from Manscaped this Valentine's Day. Let's get back into the pod. I'm going to tell you something. What? About that Airbnb. What? It came time for review time. And boy, did I leave one. No, you did? I didn't give him that many good stars. You didn't? I gave him like three stars. You want to know why? Why? Because they didn't tell us that it was by a construction zone and a train. Yeah. And the outlets in the loft didn't work. I'm sure you didn't realize that because you're downstairs charging your sweet, sweet iPhone watching TV with your hands <laughs> behind your head. I had the I had the California King, sweetie. Um, I was... I had the remote control AC. I was living it. I was peeing. Back to bed. Not, Back not, to bed. The, not the peeing noise. <laughs> that's, that's the sound of when you can pee and sleep within a five foot vicinity of each other. I couldn't even get my luggage up the spiral staircase. <laughs> He's coming up and down for a tank. Oh my God, I need my pajama bottoms. I think they're down there. <laughs> that's the sound. I was like, okay. Yeah, and the art on the wall, the art on the Airbnb, the art was bad. Well, the, our first Airbnb was amazing. Oh, we never told the story. Our first Airbnb was amazing. Sarah got so drunk our first night there, and I stayed sober that night when because I was trying to do dry January for <laughs> this some is reason. Before <laughs> Texas took a hold of her. <laughs> yeah, before Texas took mommy, she went um. country. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I, um, we get home three or four a.m. And I go to sleep. I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm going to sleep. And Sarah's like, me too. And then I'm sleeping. And I hear what sounds to be, what sounds like a haunting happening. I was like, is that piano? We have a piano in our Airbnb. It's a musical Airbnb. It's a musician's bungalow. <laughs> I didn't even get to the guitar. Yeah. I want to go back there. I like that one. <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> you need a break from there? Yeah. Oh. I didn't like the floors because I didn't like when you walked the whole thing shook. I don't like how the bathroom. I like a little more concrete of a floor. I Let don't me like tell to feel you. like it's unstable. The Airbnbs day one seem great. Three days in, you start to notice. Oh yeah, it's like when you move into a house and you go, oh, it doesn't have all the lights, does it? You're it's, like, you're like, my, I didn't even know my win room didn't have a window. You're like, I'm sorry, is the toilet running all of the time? Why yeah, does it sound toilet- like a stream is running through our Airbnb? But okay, so I go to sleep and I wake up to the sounds of bad piano. It's like, it's like bad piano but it's trying to be played eloquently <laughs> you know what and it lasts like three minutes it's like Cling, 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 cling. Yeah. <laughs> a little twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> a little something, something. Do ding, ding, ding. Do ding, ding, ding. Do ding, ding, ding. You know the classics people know. And then silence. And then I hear Sarah go, "Good night." <laughs> I said, this bitch is weird. I said, this bitch is fucking weird. <laughs> I'm a Disney she, princess, bitch. <laughs> not her playing, playing the bad piano. piano to herself. Good night. I, like she, I know she's out there in a gown with a lantern. Fucking. Diddling, ding, ding, diddling, ding, ding, diddling, ding, Listen, ding. there's only one shank, baby. All this right. is the first update. I, like, I, I think one of the first times we got into Mastermind, you were saying that you were learning like an Elton John song. I never got, I had to sell the keyboard. It's, <laughs> it was in my kitchen. It was taking up too much space. I said, enough's enough. How much did you sell it for? 300. Wow, that's pretty good. No, I paid more for it than that. And then remember I leased it? Times are hard. <laughs> she leased a keyboard. I want to be creative and times were hard. Okay? During COVID, she It was before COVID. I, so you'd think that during COVID, I might have had 
The, you could have been a pianist. I said, I'm going to be a musician. I'm going to have an album by the time this clears up. Now you kept dropping an album during COVID. Yeah, but guess what happens? What? You fell asleep. No, I moved the piano. <laughs> you got tired. I moved the piano into my, my, um, the house I live in and it's a tiny house. So the piano ends up just sitting in the kitchen. And every time I'm trying to make eggs, I'm looking back at the keyboard, like <laughs> sad dreams that have never come. <laughs> it was like, I can't look at the piano anymore. It's like collecting dust. And I said, you know what? Enough's enough. I'm done. I'm done with the fantasy that I'm going to tickle these ivories. And you know what? You know what, Kimmy? What? Maybe when I have my estate, I will have a huge piano. But until then, I don't need it. I don't need a piano in my kitchen. I'm letting the dream die. Okay. But if you're a sh- if you're a shankster, if you're a honey, if you're out there and you want to contribute to my piano fawn or my egg freezing, patreon.com slash Sarah Weinstein. <laughs> she might freeze her eggs or get a piano with or that both. money. We don't know. It depends how much you donate. Or a pair of sunglasses. You don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Be a certified shankster. Um, yeah. We also, we got to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. She said, okay. We were changed in Austin. Yes. Explain. We went out every night. Have and you, that was the most I've gone out in like three years. Three years. That like, that was the most I drank. Like last year, same. I drank as much as I drank in Austin. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that same. five days is how much I drank the whole last year. I think me too. Because I don't really drink that much. Same. Actually, I now you I know why. I'm out here playing the piano. You were so fun. Sarah was so fun. She was out late every night. She was eating like brisket. And she was yeah, because I was drunk. She kept being like, why am I so happy? I have so much energy. I'm like, because you're just not going like, I need to get to go take a sleepy time tea and we'll warm bath. It's called self-care, <laughs> you dumb no, bitch. No, you're in self-hospice. <laughs> You're putting yourself in hospice. That's what you're doing. Let me be in hospice. <laughs> Sometimes me, a bitch wants me, to be in hospice. Let me be in hospice. I need to conserve my energy. And then people are like, wow, I can't believe you're out. It's really crazy. <laughs> I'm like, Kim keeps telling everyone that I'm a bore. I'm a snoozer. No. They I know. Am. I am. <laughs> they know. Everyone's shocked when I go out. I know. I know. It's great. I like surprising people. Shanks is out. Shanks is out. She's awake. <laughs> I hibernate and then I come out. Um, so Shank we went hibernates. after the clubs closed. We had a time. We went to the strip club. First of all. First of all. Okay. Didn't know that's our new favorite pastime. I'm sorry. Is it our favorite hobby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Does the money go away so fast? Yeah. <laughs> it's It's sad. It, I wasn't feeling the feeling I was having in there was not sad. No, 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 no. It was like uh, we were having the time of our. We life. were like we are gay. I, I, <laughs> never been gayer. We got we got in there and I was like kind of nervous because I was like hold, we were holding the stack of cash. The club, uh, the strip club was. I don't know if we should even mention them. We don't need. We'll to leave do them that. out of Let's it. But they were amazing. I don't want to. I don't know what we can and can't say, but. They were amazing and they were cool and like they were so kind to us and they knew that we were comedians. <laughs> they were so kind to us and there was just tits in they our They were face. like, pick your girls, any girl. <laughs> I was like, this is overwhelming. Yeah, they're like, use two. <laughs> I was like, pick a girl, any girl, you two are stars. <laughs> we, felt, we felt like Snoop Dogg in a strip club. That's how they made us feel there. And um, we had all this money in our hands, just stacks and... At we, one point I said, maybe I should put some of this in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> Get lunch tomorrow. Um, no. And then and we, one of our friends was like, don't put that in your purse. <laughs> Use it here. That's what it's for. <laughs> I was like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so then, so then we have, so then we have the, I have this stack of cash and I'm like nervous. And, um, I'm like, I don't really know what to do. I did. 
And right when I said that, Sarah comes by drunk as fuck with money, just slapping it on a girl's ass, just <laughs> slapping it into her thong and scooping it in like Xavier's face. I mean, I've never seen you so wild and free. I you were ju juggling girls on your head, on your shoulders, on your knees, on your toes, sweetie. I you was like, fun. You had one bitch on the right, one bitch on the left, and you were. S <laughs> At one point, she had a girl dancing on her, and she was taking wads of cash and smothering her <laughs> face in the money. <laughs> Sarah fucking changed, dude. I think we Eiffel Towered a bitch. Yeah, and then I think we went. I actually not. I think we went. We went two more days. We went two more. No, we don't think we went. We, we went, went three days in a row. We went three days in a row. row. We, you know, it's bad when they go again. <laughs> The we third went. day, they're like, you guys are back. And we're like, we love it. <laughs> the second day we got there, we pulled up. Sarah said, I'm home. <laughs> okay, enough's enough. <laughs> That's enough about the strip club. Oh, boy. We had the time of our lives. But like, I get it. I get it now. You if you're a lonely dude... Even as a lonely woman. We're not even lonely. We have to. We fuck. We have each other. <laughs> <laughs> we always have mom. <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> we have each other. And we were falling in love with the strippers, asking their names, their <laughs> real names. Sarah told one she was going to put her through school. <laughs> I was like, sweetie, I'll put you through college, whatever you want. I can't even, I haven't paid off my loans yet. You're but still I'm still paying off a keyboard. <laughs> Tell them that you're putting her through college. Anything for my queen. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me leasing a car for her. <laughs> What do you want, baby Alexis? <laughs> no, you're leasing Alexis for the stripper. Uh, I would have. In know. the moment, I would have. They can get whatever they want. I said, they're powerful women. They they can they're get what I said. We need more cash. I just kept getting more cash. Yeah. It was fun. It was very fun. We went too many times. Well, can I tell time. you one thing, though? Maybe. About this one stripper. Okay. This one stripper, she kept telling me she wanted to do tricks. And I was like, okay, like, that's a little much. Like, what kind of tricks? And she kept, like, taking, she kept, like, I was sitting in between her legs, and then she kept clinking her heels together by my head. So her heels were going like this by my head. No. And I was like, I don't think I like this. It was, like, too much. Yeah. She, I was like, I don't know what you're trying to do. Just give me the regular lap I was like, dip. can you rub your nipple across my nose again, <laughs> actually? I like that one. I like the soft one. I was like, um, I feel just like- hug me uh, naked. Like, <laughs> can so I just cry okay. in your arms? Can I cry in your arms? <laughs> can you just hold me? <laughs> Will you just, I'll give you $100 to pretend to like me. Yeah, I'll give you 100 I don't need you clanking your heels. Clickety clack, oh, clickety clack. No like, tricks, sorry. Bitch. We already have a construction zone happening in our Airbnb. She's like <laughs> clicking her heels by my head. And I was like, am I supposed to like that? And her legs were as long as my entire Some body. Some people like that. Wasn't for me, sweetie. The girls there were hot. One was hotter than the next. I started inviting. <laughs> I started inviting. Catch me, catch me inviting them to comedy shows. Oh my god! I'm sending Potter messages. I said she's I was, sending them our flyers. <laughs> I said, "Hey, Potter, is the show Friday?" I'm texting him at like three in the morning from Texas. I'm like, "Is the show on Friday sold out?" And he's like, "I don't know why." I go. There's a girl I just met at the strip club and want her to come out. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, not me inviting strippers to come to my comedy shows. <laughs> to Potter's birthday show. <laughs> to Potter's birthday show. Yeah. No, at one point, remember the stripper that found out we were comedians and then she told us a joke while giving you a That was the clankety lap? clank. <laughs> <laughs> she was my favorite until she told me the joke. She told Sarah a joke while she was clickety clanking her. <laughs> and she goes, do you guys want to hear this joke? <laughs> Do people understand what I mean by clankety clank? Like she yeah. was tapping. Yeah. Okay, okay. When they clank their heels. Yeah, I was gonna have to do it. Yeah. No, they go clankety clank. She's doing they that. Clank their heels uh, together. Let me tell you, the stripper heels are something. I want to pair for around the house. Yeah, they are something. They're powerful. They're powerful. But falling in those. But when she told us the joke and we both were trying to listen to the joke and they were dancing it was and, so she, bad. and then she finished the joke and it wasn't good. What did I say? Yeah, you, sh you should do that. <laughs> and she's like, anyways, she's not you encouraging me mediocre talent. It's not even mediocre. It was like, I don't even know. I can't even remember what it was because I went to another place. I fully checked out. I was like, you should have to pay me to tell me jokes. Your face when I told her she should try it on stage. Listen. I was like, yeah, 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 you should try that. And I threw some money at her. <laughs> I loved it. It was the best time of my life. 
<sighs> Anyways, we had so much fun. We had so much fun. We really did it. We really did it. When we, uh, you know, it's wild when you extend your trip. We're like, we don't want to come back. I know. When we almost extended it again. And then we're like, no, we can't. We, we can't just be go. extending the trip and being on a lifelong vacation. We we don't have any I shows. I brought triple to- the amount of clean underwear, and I was out. And I was like, that's how I know we've been here long enough. When I'm out of clean undies, we got to go. When I'm re-wearing outfits. <laughs> yeah. It's like, do you have any other pants, bitch? It's like, no. <laughs> yeah. That was going to be here a few days. Yeah, we w- we really did it. We went hard. You know what I like about it, too, though? What? It's like it's like a small town. You go, you get a cup of coffee, but people are also drinking whiskey. And you're like, where am I? I love that. You go to get a cup of coffee. Someone's drinking a coffee and a beer. And it's also, oh, you saw that guy last night. Oh, that was the guy that did this last night. Oh, we saw that girl at the other bar. Oh, this person came to our show. Hard eyes to you both. Hard eyes to you both, sweetie. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. It was really awesome. From start to begin, from end, from front to end, mm-hmm. nonstop fun. Nonstop dancing. Two stepping? The cowboys that come up to you? Oh, yeah. There's wild. Man, they come up. First of all, first of all, the, the men. men. That's us. We love, if you're in Austin, we love the men there. They're so yeah. hot. They're so hot. They have Southern charm. They hold the door. I didn't, they I, lift things. They lift everything. It was so funny when we got back to LAX and we were lifting our luggage and the guy just watched us and I go, we're not in Texas anymore, sweetie. Um, we didn't lift a thing. They lifted everything. They carried everything. They opened every door. They would, if, if, um, if you were walking toward the door, a man would, you could look down the street and see a man running. <laughs> like he was on a timer and he'd run and catch the door and be like, I got this, miss. And then just leave. Yeah. No harassing no. you after it. He just did it because a woman shouldn't touch a door. Austin's perfect. I just want them to legalize weed. And abortions. And abortions. <laughs> Those two. Those are the big things. <laughs> those are the two most important things. We need, we need those two things when we're there. Yeah. <laughs> the men were so hot. And then they come up to you at these the clubs and they're like, may I have this dance? I know. And, and then, then like, they dance I'm like, I'm sorry. You. I'm wet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this I a don't movie? know how to two-step. Am I in a Hallmark? It was giving Hallmark. It was giving Hallmark. There's like this video I have of you and I'm like, I don't know who she is. She was like... Soft girl, Kimmy. Kimmy in a dress, two-stepping with a cowboy. Have we announced her our honeys? You're in your soft girl era? I don't know. Have we? I don't think. Honeys. Good. Big announcement. Big announcement. I'm a soft girl. Soft girl. I'm gentle. I don't fight. I just love... (laughs) And I'm a sight. <laughs> I'm a soft girl. Soft girl. I'm a gentle, I'm a light. I don't love and I just fight. Oh, I said that wrong. I'm I just love and I don't fight. fight. I'm a soft girl. Soft girl. <laughs> winter. It's soft girl winter, everyone. I quit jujitsu. I canceled my membership. It was about time. When you came home with the black eye, I said enough's enough. And I know you were liking the black eye. You were liking, you were milking the black eye. I give you the ice pack. I don't think you were icing it. I think you were trying to, I think you were punching yourself in the face so it extended the life of the black eye. Because it you, did last oddly long. It did. I know you weren't icing it. I iced it, but the ice is like, it would hurt. It's like so hard. It's not like a soft, watery ice. It's like a hard thing of ice on a sore eye. So it hurt. So I'd ice it a little, but. No, you wanted, you liked it. You thought I liked it gave it. you street cred. <clears throat> I liked it. I also liked whenever uh, male comedians would go to give me a hug flinching in front of a group of people. Because that was really fun. That was one of my favorite Favorite parts. Yeah, yeah. I really liked that. Or anytime I was hanging out with like a guy friend, I'd always act scared. And that was fun. (laughs) That's so fun. That's such a fun trick to do. But now I quit. (laughs) You quit jujitsu and you have nails. I have nails now. So how do you, do you feel different with the nails? Yes. Because I look at the nails and I go, should I? Do you like them? I like them, but I've never had them. You should do them. You could do them kind of short, but they're fun and they feel so nice. And I like the way they well, shape this the says, hair. This says, I'm definitely straight. Well, last night I had a girl hit on me. Where? At the comedy store. And I got so nervous because it was my first bi girl area hit on. No. Yes. And this girl, I was talking about my nails and I was like, I usually don't get them long, but I'm in my soft girl era. And this girl, this blonde chick in front of me goes, so you're not gay. And I was like, 
Well, <laughs> <laughs> you like pull them off. <laughs> yeah, you start biting them. <laughs> These two fingers are available. I got four for you. These two, I got four. <laughs> That's so gay. If you have long nails on every one except two. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a good way to tell people you're bi. Yeah. Just leave these two. You just start taking them off. That's <laughs> also so weird to walk around with two three short. claws and two, two shorts, three longs. I'm bi. <laughs> That's the bi math. Three shorts, two longs equals bi. That's a bi hand if I've ever seen one. <laughs> That's a bi's hand on earth. <laughs> um, yeah, she made me nervous. She was like, oh, I was like, well, kind of. And she was like, really? And I was like, yeah. And she, I was like, are you a comic? And she was like, no. I was like, oh. And she was like, well, I'm going to the bathroom. I might see you later. And I was like, does she want me to fuck her in the bathroom? And then I just let it go. What? This is the first I've heard of this. It happened literally last night. Well, normally you tell <laughs> me everything. I talk to you. I was I, blowing up your phone. I'm like, did you pick the clips? Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Did you pick the clips? I know. That's our pod, baby. That's our pod. We did a pod, sweetie. That's our pod. It was so fun. This was a great episode. This was a great episode. I love complimenting our own work. <laughs> wow, we are geniuses. We are definitely growing Boy, geniuses. You all are blessed. If you if you guys feel like you're honeys and you're blessed, like that smash. Smash that like. Smash that like. Sound off in the comments below. Sound off in the comments. Say, booze, booze, I am blessed. <laughs> bzz, 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 I'm a honey. I'm a honey. Live from the hive, baby. Okay. So let's wrap it up. Where can people find you? When is this coming out? This is coming out next week. Okay. Next Monday. So are we going to be in Yuma already? We will. No, this is perfect. Yuma. Yuma, Arizona. We need Friday. to sell out Yuma. This Friday, baby. Maybe it might be our first sellout. If you're in Arizona, if you're near Yuma, come out. Come Fill out. up the seats. Send this to a friend. If you know a friend near Yuma, Arizona, if they're in Arizona, look up Yuma. Yuma look up where they are. If it's anything less than three hours, send it to them. Tell them to come out. Come out. For the night of your life, Arizona. Yeah, come out. Support your honeys. <laughs> so um, and then we're going, we're actually going to be in San Diego, March 19th. Yep. At Mic Drop. Yep. And then in June, this is ahead of time, but in June, we're back in Arizona. Yes. Somewhere else. Yes. So put that in your calendar and smoke it. <laughs> yep. I'll be at Westside Comedy Theater this Thursday. Hell yeah. Um, I don't know what time. Everything's on Instagram at Princess Shank, Patreon.com slash Sarah Weinshank. Subscribe to my podcast, Shank, S H E N K. Mm -hmm. That comes out every Wednesday. And then you can find me here every Monday at this bitch at Mastermind. What about you? Follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon, on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check me out on twitch.tv. I'm streaming again, twitch.tv slash Queen Kong One. I'm back on the game, baby. We're getting dubs, we're dropping into the shit. It's real. Um, She's dropping tilted. Yeah. Make sure you check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Kim Congdon. A lot of fun stuff on there. And um, yeah, show dates on my social media and keep supporting the pod. We're the, the hive is quite certainly alive. We appreciate all the love and support from you guys. You guys have been coming out to shows and really supporting and subscribing. And, and we love it. We love it. And if there's anybody that you want to see on our podcast, tag them. Let or if you want know. us to see them on us on their podcast, tag them and let them know. I want to see Kim and Sarah on this podcast. I want to see this bitch live on this podcast. Or if we there's wanna, a club you want us to come to. Mm -hmm, tag the club. You guys always like just comment on my thing. You're like, you should be on this person's podcast. I'm like, tell them. <laughs> Don't yeah, tell me. Yeah, yeah. Tell them. Tag, um, tag them. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we love you. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.